The successful Foxtel original series, Secret City, returns with an impressive sequel, Under the Eagle. Again, a stellar ensemble cast is assembled around Anna Torv's political journalist, Harriet Dunkley, including Jackie Weaver, Danielle Cormack, Don Honey, Andrew McFarlane, Joel Tobik, and Marcus Graham. The Secret City is, of course, Canberra, established in the first series as an irresistible setting for murder and international intrigue, as well as the more familiar shabby deals and divided loyalties, lies and opportunism of our political class. The series is again inspired by the best-selling novels of Canberra journalists Chris Ullman and Steve Lewis, who act as consultants, bringing a whiff of verisimilitude to some outrageous shenanigans. The series picks up two years after Torves Dunkley was imprisoned for treason, the result of the Machiavellian Sorry, Katrina I'm Bailey's I'm draconian, here. safer Australian yeah. laws. She's played again by Jackie Weaver. And Bailey, while not the PM, still wields immense power in Canberra. And as the first episode begins, is already mixed up in all kinds of nefarious machinations. Desperate to escape the political swamp, Dunkley is quickly ensnared in a new web of lies while trying to help her ex-cellmate, Mina Elmasi, Louisa Mignon, the victim of the long tale of war, who is framed for murder. The first episode sets a cracking pace and establishes the plot lines for a compelling sequel. I think the producers have brought together an amazing array of talent in this. You know, the adaptation by Belinda Chaco and Matt Cameron, who wrote the series, I think it's really good. I think they've had a few too many balls to keep in the air at any one time to resolve adequately, but I think they've, they've done a really, really good job. I think the direction by Tony Kravitz and Daniel Netheim, they're two of our top mm -hmm. directors, is really wonderful. And I love the fact that this series is chock-a-block full of really strong, interesting women. I love, I, I'm, I'm sort of absolutely hooked on this and I think it's, I think it's a major, major achievement by Foxtel. Mignon's character especially, I think, is fantastic. Yeah. She goes out at one point dressed in black leather, driving a black motorbike with a couple of handguns strapped on her hips. <laughs> she looks like the ex a fe female executioner. She's fantastic. There should be a series just with her. She is really a knockout actor, that yes, one. And, uh, yeah. Um, you're right, the talent all through is terrific. And, 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 you know, I mean, I think it's interesting too that, you know, the Anatole Dunkley character uh, ends up being press secretary for this independent played by uh, Danielle Cormack who's, you know, in an interesting position in this balance of power in power. Well, it's particularly present, isn't it, given the number of independents who are, are about to stand for um, the next federal election. Yes. There's independents, you know, right, left and centre. <laughs> so this, this has a lot of sort of topicality about it, I, yes, I think. It, and, uh, look, all it does is make you even more wary of our politicians this series, I must say. <laughs> Except Don Honey's PM is sort of like a good guy. I think this is a really fine series. I'm giving it four and a half stars. I'm giving it four and a half as well. I love it. Minister, do you believe that Harriet Dunkley has now paid her debt to society? Ludi, rehabilitation is a key tenet of our judicial system and I've always upheld the rule of law. Well, we should expect nothing less from our senior ministers of the Crown, be they responsible for security laws, privacy laws, criminal law, military justice law, in regard to war crimes, for instance. Who is watching our government's actions in Iraq and Afghanistan? This series is based more around the defence in regards to America and what's happening in America as opposed to the first one I think was dealing with China. Yes. So there is a hence under the eagle um, and uh, there are some, I'm, I'm not going to give away too much because there are some rather uh, drastic moments that shift and change the, the story and the political landsta uh, landscape drastically. Into my character, she's an independent MP and she hires Harriet to be her press agent. I'm looking for a senior media advisor. Full salary with benefits. What do you say? Why does she do this? It's quite interesting. Well, see, the thing is, Karen Kudafidi, she's, she's an independent, up-and-coming, very, very... Uh, she's, she's a squeaky wheel. She wants to... She wants change enacted, and, uh, and the only way she can do that is if she makes a big noise. 
she feels. So what better than to get Harriet Dunkley, who's already surrounded and shrouded in controversy, to be part of her team. Did you research the role of independent um, politicians? I did, or? I did indeed. And there were some beautiful characters in, in politics here for me to draw inspiration from. Uh, and, and also in New Zealand as well, with Jacinda Ardern, who's a female uh, prime minister-elect. So that was fantastic yes. just to to have that, you know, the, the, the knowledge that there are more female politicians mm. now than ever and uh, but yes there there are some there are some loud beautifully loud gregarious politicians mm. female politicians in this country that I drew great that were a great resource for me uh, and also keep in mind that Karen is also a mother a single a solo single mother of two oh, children as well. So oh, she's we don't a working see that mother. in the first episode. No, no. well, well you, you see at a press conference where she has a rather unfortunate moment with her breasts oh, lactating. That's right, that's right. It's a very uh, which is very, a very real event for a lot of women. I, I can put my hand up to say that that has happened to me. Mm. Those are the moments that, you know, that, that I hope we can relate to as distant mm. as, as it can seem sometimes dealing with the political landscape. Mm. Those are the more human moments. You know, there are lots of, lots of um, yeah. women who are working and still breastfeeding mm. and, and dealing with the logistics of that. One of the distinctive things of the series, and this was the case in the first one, is the photography of Mark Wareham, the DOP, the Director of Photography, which is absolutely stunning. It makes Canberra not only seductive but quite beautiful. The, the cinematography in Secret City is stunning and I love the way that, that he's managed to make it. Everyone involved has managed to make Canberra look very it sexy. Does. Who is watching our government's actions? It's a matter of national security that we contain this situation. It was a trap, the whole thing. You're the little girl who cried wolf. Nobody's listening.